Hey guys, it's me. And just like I promised in my last video, I am going to be doing a haul video. Yay for haul videos. So, um, this haul is really, 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 really fun because it's from one of my favorite, 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 favorite companies, and it's e.l.f. And I think that some people are intimidated by e.l.f. because they're so cheap. And I feel like some people think that um, because they're so cheap that their products aren't good. So um, I'm just going to tell you about a couple of my favorite products and some things that I picked up that I'm trying for the first time. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm going to like shoot a video right now. No, just playing. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into this haul. The first thing that I got that I really, really, really like, I've already tried this and I love it. It was my first time. Love, love, love it. I'm usually a Vaseline chapstick kind of girl, but I absolutely adore the lip balm that I picked up and I'm going to be purchasing a lot, lot more. And it looks like this. I love the packaging. It's so cute, by the way. Um, and it has SPF 15 in it. And it's red. And it does have a reddish tint, which I'm not really into for my lip balm. It's like lip balm. Like, why does it need a tint? But it's cute, and it's really nice. And it does give your lips, like, a natural red color to them. As if, you know, you're, you know, you have a lot of blood rushing to your lips. So that's really flattering. And I don't really mind the taste that much. And, oh, it does have a name. It's called Romantic Rouge. I don't know if you can see that, but probably not. But it has a name. And... I like this stuff, so I will be getting a lot more, and I think it was like $3, and it was it's really, really good. I really, really like it. I adore it, so get some of it. The next thing that I got, I got a bunch of these. I got liquid liners, and I got one, two, three, four of them. Nope, five of them, and I adore each one of them. I'll just show you each one one by one. I got kind of a clear with like confetti glitter one. Um, this one's called Stardust. And it looks like this. And I really, really like this. I think it's going to be really nice with um, different looks. It's really versatile. And then I got like a goldish one. Um, it's called Copper. And this is going to be very nice. I was actually debating on putting it on for this video since I did kind of like a neutral shimmery kind of look. So um, I really like this one. I'm going to be using this a lot. Um, I got this bluish color. It's called Cobalt Blue. And it looks like that. And this, is, this just looks pretty as well. Um, now the ones that I've actually tried... I'm wearing right now the dark brown, and I think the name is Co Cop. Sorry, I can't even talk today. Coco, and <clears throat> it's really, really nice. It's just brown, and I have it on today. I don't know if you can tell. And it's darker than it looks, so I really, really like it. But it is a chocolate brown, and it shows up very well. And it's really nice for neutral looks instead of black. You know, black can be a little harsh sometimes in certain looks. So I really, really like this a lot. I'll be using it a lot. And this one, I'm so sorry. I forgot the name, but I will look it up and link it below. And I love this one. I wore this yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. And I wore it for St. Patrick's Day because I had to work. And I wore it with the same lip color I'm wearing now. It's just the lip liner. And I just adored it. It looked so festive and so pretty. And it's not exactly like green green. It has like a bluish tint to the green. But it's so pretty. It reminds me of the um, color of the eye um, makeup that Nicki Minaj likes to wear. And it's so pretty. It was really, 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 really pretty. And I loved it. So um, if you don't have this color and you see it, pick it up. Try it. It's worth the shot. Um, and those are the liquid liners that I got. And then I picked up an eyelid primer, and a lot of people like this, so I wanted to try it because I just felt like I should, and that's what it looks like, and it was only $1, and so were the liquid liners, all the liquid liners were a dollar as well. Oh, I left one liquid liner out, sorry, um, it's a plum one, 
So it's like a purple and I'm excited to use that because I feel like that's going to be very pretty. Pretty plum. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm a little sick so that's why I'm doing that. But yeah, I got a concealer. Now it's a stick and I don't know how I feel about concealer sticks. Um, I guess they're great because they're so portable and you can like swipe them on anywhere. Now this was my fault because I actually feel like the consistency was really good and I feel like the product is really really good if you get the right color. Obviously does concealer you need to get the right color. Duh. But I wanted like went a little lighter than my skin color for under eye and I think I was just so excited that the elf man was there and that there was no tax and that I could actually get a bunch of stuff that I didn't really look carefully enough. But I did think that I got one of the darkest color, if not the darkest color, so I'm not really sure. But I know it's called Honey. And this is how it looks. And clearly, that's just too light. Of course, for under eye concealer, you're supposed to get like one or two shades lighter than your skin color. But this is not even in the realm. So that was my fault. So can't really use this. I don't have any use for this. But um, I think it was like $3 at the most. And um, it was a really good consistency if they do get darker colors I would definitely purchase it um yeah so if you're lighter than me it's honey and it looks like this is the whole packaging and it's really really good it's just not my color so the next thing that I got was a um, daily brush cleanser I haven't used this yet but it looks like this and it's huge for like three bucks and usually brush cleaners you know um they're usually not that much but three dollars you really can't get one for three dollars and I think that this is gonna work really good for my brushes so I just got a daily brush cleaner love it um and then I got two concealer brushes now elf has two lines they have a studio line which is a little more nice which is usually about three dollars starting and then they have a normal line which is one dollar starting so the one dollar concealer brush looks like this and I am going to try to find a really good under eye concealer. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment and let me know. I would definitely try anything at least once. And I got the Studio One, which is $3. and looks like this. And it's bigger. And I, I'm going to use that for my dark areas down here that I use concealer on. I use the MAC Pro Longwear and NW45. So I'm going to usually just use my hand really quick. But I think this would be nice just to have to use. Um, something that I'm really excited about getting. Now I've seen the reviews for it and people say that it's messy. But the color's right on and they say a lot of good things about this. So um, I really wanted to try it and it's the um, Flawless Foundation um, by e.l.f. Studio, and it looks like that and I got the shade Coco and I'm really excited about trying it it was only six bucks I don't know how good of a deal that is because I feel like it's really really small but then again my MAC ones aren't huge but I don't know the packaging just looks like it might not last you a while so if it runs out I don't know how often you need to get another one but I am gonna try it and if I like it I'll try to try it um, I mean use it on a regular basis just to see how you know often I would have to replace it and if I don't have to replace it that often I might because the ingredients don't look as bad as um, a lot of drugstore foundations I might use this on a regular basis if the coverage is good and it's decent I might use it for every day and kind of save my Mac for special occasions or weekends or things like that. So I will be doing a review on this. Um, to go with the foundation because it says oil free but a lot of liquid foundations that a drugstore to me can have like a um, like oily finish so to be safe and I've never tried this before so I don't know how it's gonna go but I feel like just dabbing it on my face a little bit with the foundation, it shouldn't be that bad. This is their pressed powder, and it was a dollar. And I got the darkest color, I think, and it's called Toffee. 
And um, yeah, it was a dollar. And it just looks like, you know, pressed powder you put over foundation. So it says it eliminates shine, treats, and prevents breakouts. So it sounds like it's pretty good. Definitely going to be using this with that. And something that I got that I've been wanting to try by them is their makeup remover cleansing cloth. And I did try one today because I had to go to a meeting really early this morning at like 6 o'clock in the morning literally. And um, I usually wash my face every single morning and I didn't want have time to wash it. So I used one of these and re-moisturized my face and primed it and everything. And it came, my makeup came out great and it made my skin soft. Um, I think it has aloe vera in it. I'm going to read the back. It says, it gently and easily cleans skin to remove all traces of makeup and dirt, even waterproof mascara. Great for on-the-go travel. Gentle cloths are soft and soothing for even the most sensitive skin infused with aloe vera extract for moisturizing. It was so moisturizing. So I, I definitely believe that there's aloe vera in it because my skin was so moisturized. It was a little ridiculous. I felt great. So I've used some that make me feel dry. I've used some that just don't really agree with me. So this really does. So um, if you ever see these, you might want to pick them up. They're $3. Come on. Pick them up. They're great. They're really, really great. I love, love, love these. I will use these forever. And the last thing that I got that I'm really excited about using um, is their Natural Lash Kit. It says it on the back, natural lash kit, but it looks like this. And they do kind of look natural to me. And they just look really pretty. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they have like different lengths. Some of them are real long, some of them are a little shorter, some of them are very short. And they just look so pretty. So I'm definitely going to be trying these. Definitely going to be trying these. Um, that was it. Just a really quick haul on a lot of the e.l.f. things that I got and that I love. I love, 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 love e.l.f. I have a lot of their brushes and things like that. So if you've never tried e.l.f., don't be intimidated by their pricing. Um, just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's cheap quality. And I've tried higher-end things, trust me. And some of these things definitely beat, beat them, like, amazingly so try elf i bought these things with my own money so i'm giving you my honest opinion and i love elf and i'll be doing a lot of looks with these things and getting some more things and showing you thanks for watching you guys bye